Hey guys, how's it going on? John with The Fish Crew here, and today I am super excited to bring you the Akamai KPS by Hydor. By the way, it is Akamai, not Akumai, not Aquamai, Akamai. So the Akamai KPS is gonna be a fully Wi-Fi controllable and extremely customizable power head that you can use for your aquariums. This power head is gonna be rated anywhere from 10 to 50 gallons, giving you anywhere from 370 to 1,050 gallons per hour, which is pretty incredible for its small size. Now some fun facts about this power head, it is gonna be 2.5 by 1.88 inches, which is incredibly small, like super small, smaller than a chicken egg or around the same size which is awesome because that means we don't need to look at ugly equipment in our tank. We get to focus on our nice, pretty beautiful, maybe somewhat expensive corals and don't have to worry about a big power head getting in the way. So right when you get this power head, essentially you're gonna get the power head itself and this big round black looking disc. That essentially is the Wi-Fi controller and the thing that will actually be putting off the Wi-Fi signal for you to connect to via the app. When you get it, the app is extremely easy to use and I found very user friendly. It was extremely easy to just set up your own custom mode and get rocking with those waves. Now this app is gonna be available on the Google Play Store and the Apple Store, so don't worry if you have an Apple or an Android, you are gonna be able to enjoy this power head. My personal favorite thing about this power head is that you're able to control what this power head is doing every 30 minutes throughout a 24 period. So essentially, every 30 minutes, you can have this pump do a different cycle, do a different setting, and it has not skipped a beat, and I've definitely put it through its paces. Via the app, you're gonna have six different modes. There's gonna be a mode called constant. That's just gonna be kind of a constant flow, obviously by the name. You have a smooth flow as well, which is just gonna kinda of gently rise up and down. You're gonna also have a feed mode, which is super nice. The only complaint I have about the feed mode is you only have one feed mode option. So compared to the other ones, you can have as many of those throughout the day as you want. With the feed mode, you can only have once. But the nice thing is they do give you a 30 minute window to have the feed mode. That way the food isn't all blown crazy and your fish and corals can actually eat, which is somewhat important, maybe, I guess. So along with those, there's also going to be uh, the wave mode. So the wave mode is super cool and I personally found one of my favorite modes to use because you control the minimum and maximum flow rate. With most of these modes you can actually do that. Um, and with the wave you can also control how fast or slow the waves are actually pulsing. Um, which I just find really nice because you can add diversity and just a whole bunch of different flow rates for your corals to promote healthy growth. And lastly, there's gonna be the mode called random, which as you guessed it, is just gonna be rad random flow patterns that go at different peak points depending on what you set the min and maximum flow rate at. Another awesome thing with the app, if you do not feel like taking the time and setting your own schedule up for what you want this pump to do, there is tons and tons of presets that they give you already for different types of tanks, SPS tanks, LPS tanks, mixed reef, lagoons, you name it, they pretty much have a preset for you that you can just go ahead tap it and it's already ready to go for you. Another fun fact about this power head is it is gonna be extremely energy efficient, only using four to 10 watts, depending on what mode and gallons per hour you have it set to. So you're not gonna have to worry about a huge energy bill at the end of the month. Definitely a plus. Another awesome thing about this power head is it is going to essentially suction cup uh, slash magnet to your tank and the cool thing about the power head itself so the back of it is rounded and it actually has a magnet in the back of it so you can essentially angle it in any which may shape form configuration that you please to hit all those juicy dead spots in your tank how about that now I have personally been using this power head in my tank which is a 93 gallon so it's definitely over what it's rated for but the nice thing about this system is that you can hook several power heads up to the same um, app and the same uh, pretty much day routine system and they'll work simultaneously with each other um, so that's a super super plus side for those who have larger tanks but still want the nice customizability that these power heads give you now like I said I personally run this in my tank for over a month 
um, probably a month and a half to two months now, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. The one flaw I found, and it might not necessarily be a flaw, it's just one thing that I've come across. If say you're doing a water change or anything and you need to turn the pump off, if you go on the app and just turn off your program, it will eventually turn back on, which in some cases can be a pro. Um, if for some reason it gets flitched off for some reason, it will automatically turn back on within anywhere from around like five to 10 minutes I've come to find. Now I have definitely put this power head through its paces. I've switched up the modes constantly. I've changed them. I've just configured everything and made every mode different and um, different flow rates, different modes and this thing has not skipped a beat. It's stayed with the paces and continues to do what you tell it, which is awesome. And that's all we can ask for. Also, while I was doing my testing, one awesome thing I found out that if your power goes out, don't worry, all your presets and your logs that you had already made, they're going to stay and your power head's going to go right back to the regular cycle it was on and not skip a beat, which is super nice just for those little fluke accidents that might happen because, you know, life. Now, even though I said you can occasionally use this with larger tanks if you have multiple of them, you're only going to be able to go up to 15 millimeters or 0.59 inch thick glass or acrylic, so just keep that in mind. Now, if you guys do have any more questions on this amazing powerhead, feel free to leave a comment down below or swing on into the fish crew, better yet, and talk to any of our fish and aquarium specialists, and we can definitely help you out and guide you in the right direction. This is John signing out with the fish crew. Happy reefing, guys, and have a good rest of your day.